So, you decided to pick yourself up Nuketown. Black Ops 2. You've really not ever been good at zombies, but you want to get into the high rounds. Well, this video is for you. Hello, peoples. Pillager2 here. And today I will be teaching you how to train on Nuketown. Now, Nuketown was the first map that I ever really learned how to train on. And through this gameplay that you see on screen right now, this is essentially all you have to do. Just run around the... Just hoard the zombies up. Now, it can be difficult to get them into a horde in the lower rounds. Which is why you see me on round 13 here. See there, I'm just killing the train. Um... This is my, uh, first, like, narration for video. All of my other videos have been live com. I can think of, no, there was that one, uh, with the website, which I use Google Translate. But, other than that one, this is the first. So. Here, uh, let's just start at this new round. It's starting. So, to start your train, uh, which can, which in my opinion is one of the most difficult parts, um, basically just want to walk in the circle here in the greenhouse backyard. You're just in the spot you see me doing. This is the best spot on this map to train. In. Um, so let's just get a board up here. You can see me avoiding the zombies, uh, going around them, not trying to, like, they need to be included. Like, you see, I included that one, I'm going out of my way to encompass all of the zombies. Um, this will pull them into the train, and you see I have a ray gun, which does splash damage. So, you want to try to get that gun, the ray gun, okay, there, um, <coughs> yeah, sorry, but, you see I have a ray gun, and whenever that happened right there, that got pretty scary. One th the rule of training that I live by is, you will get hit, there's no doubt about it, you are going to get hit. And you can't panic when that happens. So just keep on running around in circles around the zombies. Not getting too close. And then whenever you've got most of them, go ahead and uh just shoot into them, kill them somehow. And you wanna make sure that you get like the most amount of points as possible. Like you see there I get monkeys um, from the fire sale but that was a really risky move because it's the mid middle of the round and the zombies spawn in relatively quickly that was really risky I should not have just sat there and hit the box so the reason that uh, starting up a train is so risky is because all the zombies are spread out you don't have a lot of them behind you in a one big group they're everywhere and you have to avoid them and that spot right there you saw me get caught a little bit that spot kills me all the time just hitting that it gives the zombies time to catch up and they kill you <laughs> Another thing you don't want to let happen is break up your train, which I will probably skip to a video now. But if you do accidentally break up your train, you will die. So now that brings us to the conversation on how to deal with when you die. When you die, it can be pretty difficult. I will run over there, grab double tap, 
kill the zombies, but then the reload is super slow. You need, if you have speed before and then lose it, it gets insane. Not good. So, yes. Then you wanna run out, get all your other perks whenever the last zombie is there, which you can see me doing. And, yeah. That's essentially it on how to train on Nuketown, and thanks for watching.